Hello friends. In this video, we will see how to control multiple servos using Arduino Uno or other versions of Arduino. Here we are controlling three servo motors. You can increase or decrease the number of servos according to your requirement. For this purpose, we need three servo motors. Here we are using SG90 micro servo motors and one Arduino Uno board or other versions of Arduino and a breadboard to connect all these servos and male to male jumper wire. You can buy all these components from any electronics website or you can buy these components from our website at the best price. The link of the components and the website is given in the description of this video. The servo has three wire. The brown color wire that means this one is the ground. We have to connect it to ground pin of the Arduino. The middle one that is the red wire is the VCC wire. We have to connect it to 5 volt pin of Arduino. And the orange color wire is the signal wire. We have to connect it to any PWM pin of the microcontroller. First we will connect the ground pin of Arduino to this row of breadboard so that we can use this entire row as ground row. Then we will connect the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to this row so that we can use the entire row as VCC row. Don't forget to use these small wires in between these two rows. Now we will connect all the ground row ground pins that is ground wires of the servo to ground row of the breadboard. Next, we will connect the VCC wires of the servos to our VCC row. That means the middle one. Here is for first servo. Then we will connect it to our VCC row. Then for the servo number two, and for servo number three. Okay, now we have to connect the signal wires of the servos to Arduino. We will connect our servos to pin number 9, 10 and 11. That means we can connect to any PWM pin of the Arduino. First servo we will connect to pin number 9. Then we connect the second servo to our pin number 10 and third servo to our pin number 11. Okay, now our connection is ready. Now we will go to the code section. Here is our code. First, we have to insert the servo.h library into our code. Then we have defined three objects that is my servo1, my servo2, and my servo3 of servo types for connecting our servo motors. You can increase or decrease the number of objects according to the number of servos since we are using three servos that is why we have defined three servos my servo 1 my servo 2 and my servo 3 then in the void setup you have to define the pin number that means my servo 1 dot attach 9 that means we will connect the first servo motor to our pin number 9 of the arduino then my servo 2 dot attach 10 that means we will connect the second servo to pin number 10 of the arduino then similarly we will connect the third servo to pin number 11 of the arduino then in the void loop section we have written my servo 1 dot write 0 that means the first servo will initially come to its position 0 then it will wait for 2 seconds that is delayed 2000 then the servo will rotate to 180 degree that's why we have written my servo 1.write 180 degree you can sense the degree of rotation by sensing this 
degree that is 180 degree here then the servo will wait for two seconds that is delay 2000 then after that the second servo will come to its initial position that is my servo 2 dot right zero that means it will come to zero degree then it will wait for two seconds again it will rotate to 180 degree then it will wait for two seconds then the third servo will come to its initial position that's why we have written my servo 3 dot right zero that means it will come to zero degree then it will wait for two seconds then again it will rotate to 180 degree then it will wait for two seconds here we can see the first servo will rotate to zero degree then to 180 degree then second servo zero to 180 degree similarly from third ser servo we can see zero to 180 degree then the loop will run again and again and the servo will rotate from 0 degree to 180 degrees you can change the number of servos according to your requirement and you can change the degree of rotation so thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can also buy all types of electronic components sensors boards modules projects from our official website www.dpvtechnology.com thank you